Hi, some of you may remember my boat, Genki. Um, here she is. Um, I've just got her back, as it were. Um, she, so I sold, I, I give you a very brief, brief, very brief, um, cut a lot, very long story short, sold my house um, in 2020, ended up buying this boat, um, lived on it briefly with my son. I was renovating the boat, um, I did kind of half of it stunning and then ran out of money. It's, it's literally like one of those scenes off the Dream Home program where they're building their home and then they uh, like they just they just go over budget and then they nearly get divorced and then you know that kind of um, struggle and challenge. So yeah, so ran out of money, um, couldn't finish it and, and and then it was kind of sat. Um, we have to move it every two weeks and then somebody approached me who basically they were homeless really um they were living in a camper van and they were really struggling their kids were about to go back to school and had nowhere to kind of set up a computer and do their work and um and you can guess what's coming i lent them the boat um until they found a house so they've had it for the winter and I've just got it back. They found a house, so all worked out well in the end. So I'm just reflecting on how I really had to dig deep to find the courage to lend my boat to somebody that I didn't know. And it all turned out okay. And that's because I had this inner trust and um, a feeling you know, I just, I went with a feeling um, and I recently went for a, a job interview, get this, how perfect is this for me, um, teaching photography in college, level two and yeah, I just found out that I didn't get this job and so I'm kind of recalibrating. I go very philosophical when something like this happens, like really underneath the positivity and all the positive quotes that I'm calling upon, like you have to be willing to double your failure rate in order to double your success rate and a setback is just a setup for a comeback. And all of these things, right? I know, I know, but underneath all that is I'm gutted. Like I literally felt crushed when I didn't get that job because I felt like I would be so good and so motivating for those kids. So I got to reflecting on why I went for that job in the first place. What state of mind was I in when I went for that job? And I, you know, I all, I've always believed in that um, there's a saying, something about the path that you're supposed to be on will come to you in times of clarity, not confusion. And when I went for the first job, I was in a real state of panic, just trying to find some income. And probably a similar situation going for the next job in the college. So now I find myself reflecting on what do I do now? And do I want to go on another diversion, chasing another job, trying to fix this problem and find some income from anywhere? Or do I want to try and tackle the first initial kind of intention or plan or idea that I had, which involves this boat? Now this boat has been such a huge learning curve for me because I bought it not knowing anything about boating. This is what I do, see? I, I go with a feeling, I know it's right, but once you've committed, then you go on the learning curve. And, and it's like each time, oh, if I'd have known this, I might not have done this, but this is what I feel I need to do. So this is how my life literally goes. and. So this boat would make a stunning creative space for photographers, artists, 
spiritual retreats, um, writers, you know, like, like this, my vision was that this here would be my floating office. Um, peace and quiet, sitting there writing or on the computer, looking out the window at the water and the stillness and the swans going past. And this would be my floating office and it would be a space that you could stay over and rest and recuperate. It would be a space that you could run um, workshops in, coaching. As I say, it it's a stunning space and it's so beautiful being on the water, that sense of calm and this kind of inner peace that that the being on the water brings you is really lovely. So, to get this boat to where it needs to be, if I go down this path, um, number one, <laughs> I need to apply for a business license and it might not get accepted and there's so many kind of hoops I feel you need to jump through to make, make this a thing. Um, there's the electrics, because the boat is not set up for continuous cruising. It would be fine if it was plugged in to the mains, but it's not, it's on continuous cruising license. But basically the boat has no 240 volt power at the moment without spending a lot of money on it. So there's that. Yeah, getting the boat looking nice, I can do that bit. I can, I can make this place stunning. I think when something seems so daunting and outside of your like knowledge, like outside of anything you've ever done, it's it takes some real focused determination and um, drive to take those steps when there seems to be so many to make it happen because it's not just all the stuff on the boat that I don't understand how to make things work mechanically and all of that and it and the the fact that I don't have any money to do that but it's also tax side of it it's doing the books facing that it's insurance it's so many things and um just do the next right thing what feels right right now is being on this boat and enjoying the headspace as long as I've got my hot water bottle. <sighs> so I'm really tapping into this rejection as a driver for more determination. I can achieve amazing things. Do you know there was a comment on my YouTube, one of my YouTube videos quite a while ago now, it was possibly a month, about a year ago and it was in the Z9 Diaries and somebody said Oh, you're one of those people that just um, you're a dreamer but you never actually live the dream right and this has really been in my mind like at the time I was a bit annoyed and, and I thought you know you don't know what I faced and you don't know what I've been through and yeah I kind of feel ready to prove that person wrong I can't, I've got this feeling in me that it's now or never and actually having a business on a boat was not my, is not, has never been my dream. So there's a certain element of knowing, you, you might know part of your dream. It, it feels to me like sometimes you have part of the dream that is crystal clear in your mind. I really want to experience that. And it's like, it's like tapping into that part of the dream that you're really clear about. But allowing the rest of the bigger picture to have a flexibility to it and to just focus on feeling great, feeling how you want to feel and trusting that when you focus on the way you want to feel and part of your dream and just feeling into the rest of it, there might be some things that come along that you didn't realise were on your radar or you didn't realise you were going to enjoy so much or you didn't realise you wanted or needed but they come along and it's like 
um, to quote my friend, the best dreams are the ones you didn't know you were going to get, you know? So enjoying that mystery, but holding on to that sense of, that's where I want to go, that's what I want to do. If nothing else, that's what I want to do. I want to travel with a camera, photographing animals and being out in nature. And sometimes you might not see how it's going to happen. And that can, probably like with the boat, I haven't been able to see how I'm gonna make this happen because it's such a huge task. But when you just keep focusing on the outcome and take one step at a time and get into that place of flow, get into that place of knowing and visualize what you want, the step towards getting there will be presented to you. And if it comes as a, an absolute surge of inspired energy, creative inspired energy, where time seems to just disappear and you're loving every minute of what you're doing and it feels so right and you feel like you're exactly where you need to be, then everything's happening perfectly. So even when you get rejected from something you thought you wanted, everything's happening perfectly. It's believing. You have to believe more than you see. You know, in the words of Wayne Dyer, you have to change the saying, I'll believe it when I see it, to I'll see it when I believe it. So just a little bit of an update. So we can play games with our minds in a negative way, of course, and I think that's really easy to get into a negative spiral or tell ourselves um, unhelpful stories or beat ourselves up. But we can also play with our minds in a really positive way and we can dream something into being. And just because the going gets a bit tough, it doesn't mean that that thing isn't going to happen. Sometimes you just need to dig so deep for some determination and resilience and strength and courage and take a bit of a leap of faith, take the odd risk and just trust that everything is happening perfectly.